Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with Speedlands using something called Initializer. So to find Initializer, you head over to the Speedland website and you can go in under Resources Initializer. And here you can see that uh, you can set up which kind of database you're running and which job version you have and so on. And you'll get a PAM file uh, generated automatically with all those settings configured. So to be able to access the enterprise versions of Speedland, like the in-memory acceleration or the enterprise database up here, you need a trial license. And you can get one by just pressing request a free trial license here. And then you enter your information and we'll send you a 30-day trial. So I already have a trial, so I'm going to enter the license key here. And then I'm going to uh, copy this generated PAM file. And then I'm going to head over to a empty folder and uh, I can move that and create a new uh, pom.xml file. And then just copy paste this. Now, if I uh, create a command line here, and then just write mvm in space speedment colon tool, it will launch the speedment graphical tool by uh, downloading the correct dependencies from Maven and launching the graphical environment. And here I can uh, connect to my database and use it to generate code for speedments. So I have a MySQL database and I have a root uh, user. I'm just going to enter the uh, password and I'm going to create, uh, select the um, database schema called uh, employees, then connect. So you can see that Speedment launched. On the left side here, I have all my tables in my database that Speedment has pulled from the database. And I can see all the columns, the different foreign keys and so on here. And here we can uh, select different nodes and configure exactly how we want our generate the code to look and uh, what kind of settings we want. And now I'm just happy with the default settings, so I'm going to press Generate. And you can see that it's completed. 114 file, files created. So if I go back to the folder here, you can see that I now have a source directory here, which an entire tree of um, different Java packages and Java classes and so on for my entire application. So now we can try and launch this in IntelliJ. So now I have launched IntelliJ here. And you can see that I have my new product that I just created. So if we maximize that, you can see that we have our database here, and Speedment has generated uh, different uh, packages for each table in the database. And if we expand one of them, like the uh, salaries uh, package, you can see that we have a, a interface describing the uh, the um, entity with different fields here for the different columns. And we also have a manager that has a, a stream method that allows us to get a Java 8 stream over the contents of that table. So let's write a simple application. So I'm going to right click here and create a new main file. And then just write public static void main. And now uh, to set up Speedment, we create a new instance of what we call the application builder. And it's actually named after the uh, schema in the database. So in this case, it's the employees application builder. So I'm just going to write new employees application builder. And then I need to specify the credentials since Speedlink never stores any information about the database. So I'm going to write with password, password, and the default user is root. So that's the user I'm going to use. And then I can just first build. And now, if we create a local variable for this, we call this app. Then we can take app, get or throw something like the salaries manager, stream, and then count. And let's write this out to uh, the, the log. So we can try and run this. And we count all of the salaries in the database. So speedlink is starting and it's printing out uh, 2,844,047. And now you might be wondering, is this actually pulling down all the contents of the database just to count them? And, and the answer is no, uh, it's because speedlink can translate this Java 8 stream into a SQL query and just write select count uh, star from salaries manager. Uh, over salaries. Uh, and it will only pull down one single number from the database. So it's a very uh, highly performance uh, system. So now when we have this, we can try and, and do something a little bit more advanced. Let's say that we want to um, still stream over all the salaries, but we want to filter them. So we take salary, 
task. Um, salaries uh, were uh, between uh, something like 60,000 and uh, 80,000 pounds per year. And then we want to count those. Let's run it. And here you can see that it was only um, 1 million, uh, 4,517 uh, salaries that were in that span. And this filter has also been translated into the SQL query. So it's still a very high performance, uh, just one uh, single query sent to the database and one number that we get back. So uh, thank you for watching.